Hi YouTube, in this video I'm going to be talking about my favorite European sunscreens and here they are, there's four of them. I love these sunscreens because European sunscreens are, um, they have the newer filters, the newer UVA and UVB filters, they have a lot of fragrance free options, they particularly make several um, organic filter containing sunscreens so they don't have the white cast that a lot of other sunscreens have and I find that they work really well in improving hyperpigmentation and dark spots that I struggle with. So I'm going to start off randomly with this one. This is the Hip Baby Sunscreen. It's for sensitive baby skin, but obviously adults can use this. I purchased this for $30 American dollars in the States. You get 200 mils of product in it. This formulation is great if you're looking for a sunscreen that goes under makeup. Upon, um, like... Upon reapplication, it does pale on its own, so I would advise you to be cautious about that. But this is a fragrance-free sunscreen. This also has Ronacare. Not sure at what percentage, but Ronacare is a, a compound that is very efficacious towards oily and acne-prone skin, and it really reduces redness. So that's the unique thing about this. I love pairing this with other sunscreens. Again, works really well under makeup. This sunscreen, by the way, is broad spectrum sunscreen. No fragrance, um, no like mineral, like zinc or titanium dioxide. So literally no white cast. It um, really makes your skin look nice and mattified. I really love Bioderma. This is Bioderma Photoderm SPF 50. So this formulation is different from the Canadian one because there's different UV filters in this. This has a PPD of 42, which is really, really high sun protection. It leaves a white cast for sure. This is um, not particularly a water resistant formulation, but it's supposed to be coral reef safe. Um, again, fragrance free. Um, it blends in really nicely into the skin, but it leaves a white cast though. Like it, it feels really comfortable on the skin, not heavy or greasy, but does leave a white cast. This has ectoin, which is an antioxidant that helps against um, UV, UVA induced uh, DNA damage. So it prevents the skin from UVA induced cellular damage and it also has mannitol which actually prevents from uvb induced um, uv damage uvb induced cell damage and then it has ramnose which is also an antioxidant so all of these antioxidants together work to alleviate the stress of oxidative damage and prevents your skin from turning red and allows for a better skin protection whenever i use this i've never gotten a sun like I don't get sunburns as much anymore because I use uh, strong sunscreens, but this particularly is great for when you look for, you're looking for solid sun protection. But honestly, it's not water resistant. Like it kind of slips and slides everywhere, but it it's high protection. It works really well. Works and also sits really well under makeup. So about this, um, I have, so I use this. This is a new bottle. I have one of these in my purse because I love it so much. Um, this formulation is one of my favorite. It has the best like lightweight texture that is great for every day. You don't want to think too much. Just put two pumps of this all over your skin and you're ready to go. It blends in really nicely. No white cast. It is an oil control, um, bay like it aims to control oil i i believe this does have yeah it has glycerinic acid this has lacocalicone a these two antioxidants work towards giving your skin added benefit of antioxidant support makes the sunscreen last longer protects your skin from uva and uvb damage while also preventing any encouraging dna repair so a lot of great things going for this this Again, sits really well under makeup, but this can have a tendency to pill. Sometimes, not often, but it does have, I've noticed pilling with this. Also fragrance-free, leaves no white cast, has great UVA, UVB filters, broad spectrum. All of these sunscreens are broad spectrum. This last one is my favorite one, and this is the Aven SPF 50 Intense Protect Sun sunblock i love this sunscreen particularly because this has triazorb b a new generation uv filter that protects the skin from visible light 
um, as well as broad spectrum UVA and UVB rays. So in, a, in combination with Tinorsorb S, it works really well to protect your skin from, it absorbs a lot of UVA, UVB, while also reflects a lot in the visible light area. So the reason why it's important to use a sunscreen that protects your skin from visible light is because 50% of the oxidative stress that you get um, and skin damage and redness that you experience from the daily exposure to light, particularly just like daily exposure or daily oxidative stress is because of visible light. So visible light contributes a lot to your cell um, damage and skin wear and tear. So using a product that contains this particular um, this particular UV filter is something that I think is going to help in the long term. When I use this regularly, I really notice my skin is brighter. The only caveat to this is it does look greasy and oily on the skin. It feels heavy, but it's not uncomfortable. Like you get used to it. Um, it works well under makeup and skincare and stuff, but again, it does leave a little bit like it's, it has a really shiny, like greasy look to it, but you know, it's fragrance free. There's no like anything that's like irritating. No, um, there's a lot of logic and research behind this product. I really love it. So typically vitamin E and C also help with visible light protection. So make sure that if you're looking for sunscreens that have a lot like broad spectrum, um, these are great ones to go to. I purchased Everything but the Hip Baby one, I purchased from Care to Beauty. They ship to Canada. And um, if you're looking for added protection, make sure you include antioxidants. And that is all for my video today. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Let me know which ones you've tried. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Take care.